Let's talk about the modem. Does your chosen Microtech device have it? While some of our LTE products come with a modem soldered on, most of them do not, and the modem will be either inserted in an MPCIe slot or an M2 slot. In fact, because our devices can support many different kinds of modems, they might be sold without one too. To avoid confusion, we have been using the following naming scheme. A letter R added to the product name means that it is capable of carrying a modem, but does not have one included. And in contrast, the name kit signifies that it comes with a modem already inserted. To be absolutely certain whether you are purchasing a product with a modem, just look at the product code. The modem's product code will be incorporated in the routers, preceded by an AND symbol. If you choose to purchase the device and the modem separately, it is advisable that you choose one from our product range. However, most modems by other man manufacturers will work with our products if they support the MBIM protocol. Other solutions like point-to-point -point protocol or ECM mode can potentially work as well, but choose MBIM if possible and take note that you might have to configure the modem manually. Another thing you should pay attention to when choosing a third-party modem are the antennas. If you picked a product with two antennas, then a modem would, which requires 10 is not going to be a good fit. And finally, when you purchase a product with a modem from us, you know that this product has been certified with regulatory bodies like the FCC, CE, and possibly even the mobile operators if the product is meant for the US market. But when you choose to use a third-party modem, it is your responsibility to comply with your local laws and regulations and the requirements of your mobile operator.